Hello and welcome to Unsettled JD. Today is day 20 here at Wild Tracks in Belize. So today has been a very interesting day. Lots of things, interesting things have happened. A lot of excitement, well, at least to me. So I'm going to go um, step by step um, throughout the day and tell you what happened. So there's still no water. Um, so that's always fun. Um, so we're still um, dealing with that issue. So this morning, first thing, uh, alarm clock goes up at 5.30 and then I go straight and um, feed Ticket and nugget take a nugget because i'm so tired that i'm like a zombie and i'm super duper slow so i just um go and um just finds the uh the pvc and nugget just like with her gums she just like nibbles me so she was nibbling my bathing suit and it definitely hurts when it touches this when she gets your skin in there um, so that was uh, that wasn't very fun this morning as I was getting nibbled on by a nugget and then so everything went well with the feed um, yeah and then uh, then we just wait around until uh, 640 for prep time for the four girls um, yeah so everything um, went smoothly with that I fed hope um, and hope was great um, yeah, um, yeah, so I just clean the bottles when we're done, and then it's time to feed the birds at 8-ish o'clock. And so me and Gus do that, and of course, since we have no water, um, we have to like be very, very scarce. Um, and make sure that we don't spill any of the water. Um, so we had um, some bins, some of the blue bins still, so I let Gus kind of do the water, and then I feed the birds. Um, and this morning, um, the two back pens with the chickens and the roosters was just ants everywhere like up all the wall we have like a little rock and they're all there and i definitely got bit by them and it hurt um so that wasn't fun so we just kind of left that um we just left them so we just made sure that they had water and because of the the feed it's very deep so we know that they're okay with food so they have food and they have water so no problems Okay, yeah, and yeah, and then after that, I just have that nice um, little break um, in the afternoon. Didn't do anything, um, yeah. And then next is the feed at eleven forty uh, for Teak and Nugget. Um, yeah, I think yeah everything went well with Teak and Nugget. Um, then they were um, great, no problems. Uh, they fed quickly, and then uh, off to lunch. Um, so lunch was good delicious and then after lunch is that nice long break and I watch some hens may tail and I try to fall asleep and then my alarm clock goes off at three because then it's time to feed the birds and so so we're basically out of water we didn't have any water so we like made sure everyone had enough water um, for them and then I also ran out of feed um, so I made sure I got like the small little birds the ones that always run out of the food first I got them first and then the um, the chickens that have like the big tall boxes I, I we basically just like dug to make sure that um, all the food would come out um, so that way they would have lots of food because delivery um, for seed is tomorrow and yeah and then the last one so then the next feed at four uh, 420 um, so everything was going smoothly um, we ended up having Mitch and Twiggy in the pen and so Hope I think Hope is just scared when uh, when Twiggy's there because Twiggy's like so big and so she didn't end up feeding um, she kept coming to me um, I don't know why um, but Anna didn't want me to feed her because she wants um, and um, she wants Hope to like feed in her proper spot and just you know and not go to one person which is understandable. So she didn't get any food, so that means we wrap the food and put it in the fridge for tomorrow. And while I was waiting for her to feed, um, um, feed Hope, I just like sat there. Um, well, not sat, but like stood there with all the manatees. Um, so I had like all, all of them, like all five of them basically on me. And then Hope was just at the back of the pen. I think there was just too many uh, manatees. And then at one point while we were waiting, Nugget just decided to make some noise and freaked out all of the manatees. So, and of course I was there in the middle surrounded. So I just like kind of like turned so I wouldn't get hit, but I got slapped in the thigh. I left a nice big red mark and I also got hit in the shoulder uh, but no bruises no lasting damage so everything everything was swell I was happy didn't yell that time yeah an improvement um, <laughs> 
so yeah that was a little bit scary because if those flukes do hit you they can knock you out and i also had like twiggy around me so i mean she could probably like knock me unconscious if she hit me um hard enough luckily it was probably uh cheeky and sandy that hit me um so yeah so while we we're waiting um we we're trying to entice twiggy out because we don't want twiggy in the pen with the girls because she is like so big so gus tried to entice her out with some uh water hyacinths and, and and obviously we were like really late this afternoon because like because hope wasn't feeding so it's an extra 10 minutes waiting for hope not to feed and anna was just like get the food like put the hyacinths on the fence and then as soon as i did that all of the like twiggy just came back towards me and i was like that's why i was waiting because i knew that that that's what would happen um it was best i was just waiting for like twiggy to get out before we put the food out but anna um, didn't want us in the pen any much longer because we were spending too much time with the manatees um, So Gus finally got Twiggy out and then while that happened I put the hyacinths out and the seagrass down and all was well and lastly so we ended up feeding uh, nugget and teak early today um because we we're all going out we're getting picked up at six so we we're gonna feed them at the babies at 5 30 today so uh, all went well with that um they didn't eat any of their seagrass their seagrass was completely full so me and gus had some a little bit of time and just waited around while he prepped the food we got the water hyacinths yeah so the feed went well nugget's always great she just like climbs on you and the misitos actually weren't as bad which was really nice um that day yeah and then that's it and then at six o'clock we got picked up so i quickly got changed um uh, people wanted to go swim in the ocean um i was wanting to as well so i got everything ready for that um so we we had ordered food so we got dropped off at the shop um because donnie always picks us up dropped off at the shop uh, i got some cordial and some beers felt like a beer night and then we walked um, down to the water basically and just sat there on the bench for a while touched and then at seven o'clock we picked up our food um, I got some chicken wings chicken wedge uh, wedges and some mozzarella sticks and yeah and then so then we just ate on the pier and talked and waited until Donnie came picked us up at 8 30 um, Tyler went swimming um, in the ocean I wanted to go swimming but it was actually a little bit chilly um i was the breeze off the ocean was nice so yeah i didn't go in and we got picked up and then it was bedtime i went to bed straight at 9 p.m and that is the end for day 20 bye <laughs>